By late 2025, China's aviation market has undergone a dramatic transformation. For years, Boeing and Airbus ruled the skies, but that era is over. Now, Airbus leads, Comac is surging, and Boeing has slipped to a distant third. This isn't just a shift in sales, it's a strategic realignment with global consequences. Chinese airlines, once loyal to both Western giants, now prioritize national strategy and supply chain security over price or performance. The tarmacs of Beijing and Shanghai now showcase Airbus A320neos and Comac C919s, while Boeing jets fade from view. State-owned carriers, following Beijing's vision, are moving away from American aircraft. The era of balanced sourcing is gone, ending Boeing's golden age in China. For Boeing, this is a major blow. For Airbus, a strategic win. For Comac, a new beginning. The global aviation market is now a three-way contest, and the rules have changed. The implications reach far beyond China, reshaping the future of aerospace. The world is watching as a new era in aviation unfolds. Boeing's fall in China is the result of safety crises, quality issues, and rising geopolitical tensions. The 737 MAX disasters shattered trust, and ongoing production problems deepened doubts. For Chinese airlines, Boeing became a risk they could no longer accept. As US-China relations soured, Beijing saw reliance on Boeing as a strategic vulnerability. Washington's brief export license suspension in 2025 confirmed those fears. Every aircraft order became a political act, and Boeing was sidelined. The Chinese government quietly steered state airlines away from the American manufacturer. Boeing's market share collapsed, its brand damaged in a region set to drive global demand. The lesson in today's world, product safety and politics, are inseparable. Boeing's decline in China is a cautionary tale for global business. At the heart of China's aviation ambitions is Comac, founded to break the Boeing Airbus duopoly. Its flagship, the C919, is designed to rival the Boeing 737 and Airbus A320. After years of development, the C919 entered commercial service in 2023 with China Eastern Airlines. Backed by Beijing, Comac has secured over a thousand orders, mostly from state-owned carriers. This government support guarantees a steady market and financial stability. Comac's product line also includes the ARJ-21 regional jet and the upcoming C929 wide body. The C919's success is a symbol of China's determination to build a world-class aerospace industry. While still reliant on Western technology, Comac is rapidly learning and expanding. The Dragon has taken flight and the global industry is taking notice. Comac's rise is reshaping the competitive landscape. Despite strong demand, Comac faces major production and supply chain challenges. By late 2025, only about 20 C919s are in service, far below what's needed to rival Airbus or Boeing. The main bottleneck slow manufacturing and heavy reliance on Western technology. Key systems, engines, avionics, landing gear, are still imported from US and European suppliers. This dependence leaves Comac vulnerable to sanctions and export restrictions. China is investing heavily in domestic alternatives like the CJ-1000A engine, but these are years away. Comac must learn to mass-produce jets and indigenize its supply chain at the same time. Until then, Chinese airlines will still need Airbus to meet growth targets. The journey is a marathon, not a sprint. Overcoming these hurdles will determine if Comac can become a true global player. The stakes are high, and the world is watching. The next few years will be critical for Comac's future. As Boeing stumbled, Airbus seized the moment with a smart, long-term strategy. Airbus invested in China, building a final assembly line in Tianjin and embedding itself in the local economy. This in China for China approach paid off, making Airbus a trusted partner rather than a foreign rival. While Boeing became a symbol of US pressure, Airbus maintained political neutrality and strong relationships. The result massive orders from China's state airlines, covering both single aisle and wide body jets. Airbus expanded its footprint, adding completion centers for A330s and A350s. By late 2025, Airbus dominates China's foreign aircraft market and cements its global lead. Its deep integration ensures a lasting role in China's aviation future. Airbus's success proves that partnership and diplomacy can be as powerful as technology. The company's position in China looks secure for years to come.
COMAX Rise is part of China's broader, Made in China 2025 strategy. This national plan aims to transform China into a global leader in high-tech industries, including aerospace. For Beijing, building a domestic aircraft industry is about pride, security, and technological independence. The C919 is the first major step, symbolizing China's ambition to master advanced manufacturing. Government support for COMAC is comprehensive funding, R&D, and coordinated supply chains. China is willing to tolerate, slow, progress, and foreign dependence as part of a long-term learning process. The goal is to control the entire value chain, from design to jet engines. The C919 is just the beginning. Future aircraft will be more advanced and more Chinese. Made in China 2025 provides the roadmap, and COMAC is driving the journey. The world is witnessing the birth of a new aerospace power. To compete globally, COMAC must secure international certification for the C919. Currently, it's only certified by Chinese authorities, limiting sales to China and a few allied countries. Gaining FAA or ESA approval is a complex, political, and lengthy process. Western regulators will scrutinize every detail, and current tensions make approval unlikely in the near term. Without global certification, COMAC's reach is capped. It remains a regional player. Still, the C919 is just the start. Future models may find smoother paths as COMAC gains experience. The company is playing the long game, building credibility step by step. International acceptance is the ultimate test of China's aerospace ambitions. The marathon for global recognition has only begun. The stakes, whether China can truly challenge Boeing and Airbus worldwide. As 2025 ends, global aviation is now a three-way contest. Airbus leads, COMAC rises, and Boeing fights to stay relevant. The old duopoly is gone, replaced by fierce competition and geopolitics. Airbus must keep innovating to defend its gains as COMAC grows stronger at home. Boeing, locked out of China, must rebuild its reputation and focus on other markets. Its future may depend on technological breakthroughs or political reconciliation. COMAC's global success hinges on scaling production, achieving tech independence, and winning international certification. If it succeeds, it could become a major force across Asia, Africa, and Latin America. The race for the skies is no longer just between two giants. A new contender has emerged, backed by national will and resources. The next era of aviation will be turbulent, competitive, and unpredictable. The world is watching as the battle for the skies enters a new chapter, 